17 was uh, supposed to be a peninsula type, uh, not a not an island green. And I was going to build a small lake back there and, and, and found that was one of the bigger pockets of sand. So we just kept digging. And all of a sudden, we didn't have a golf hole, we had a hole. And I think it was Alistair who actually suggested that uh, possibly we should make that an, an island hole. Alice came in and said, why don't you just put some of the organic back and put a wall around it and, and make an island green. So that's how the 17th hole started. We have uh, a new hazard at 17. <laughs> Look at this. This seagull is, uh, <laughs> he wants to take it home for a souvenir. I mean, look at this, he's moved it all around the green. Now he flat, whoop. Yep, 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 we got it. We have liftoff. Oh, oh. no! <laughs> he shot Paul Azinger at 17 with a nine iron. That's a great shot! Oh. at the 17th in the history of the Players' Championship here at the TPC Sawgrass. And I guess you'd maybe have to call that an A-singer. Tee shot of Miguel Angel Jimenez, who's even par. Seven off the lead. This is very good. We might have one, Bill Kratzer. There it is. <laughs> there it is. About now at five over par, you could use something good to happen. Freddie hit a, a very poor first tee shot. I mean, it, it, it was evident by his reaction that, uh, you know, chances were the ball was going in the water. And in kind of typical Fred Couples fashion, he didn't take a whole lot of time when he re teed it. I'm kind of just watching him re tee it in a hurry, and he makes the swing. and. He really couldn't tell by his reaction whether he thought it was a good shot or not. Then all of a sudden, it was like, whew, the ball just disappeared. It flew into the hole. Well, uh, that's the All-American par, Gary. Well, he's got the same club out that the uh, thought might have been too much yesterday, the nine iron. I'm surprised at that, Roger. That sounds like a lot of club for this young man. I'd sure want to hit something hard right now as opposed I to easy. Agree. Well, he's taking it right at the hole. It's too much club. Flew right over the green into the water. I'm not playing for second. I was too behind with two to play, so I, I, I got to get aggressive on that. I hit a great shot. I mean, I hit it right on my line. I guess just the, the adrenaline was pumping and, and just hit it too good. We got the ball started, and it looked as though it had started on a pretty good line. As the ball was just coming down over the over the ridge, Johnny Miller says to me, "How's that look?" And I said, "Well, it's better than most." Johnny, that's better than most. How about in? As it started started peeling back to the right, I kind of had a pretty good feeling that I might have a chance that I'd kind of put the putter up probably a little earlier than I should have. It was better than most. Better than most! I literally almost jumped out of my tower. Probably the most exciting moment that I've ever been involved in in broadcasting golf in my 12 plus years of, of doing it. It was just something you, you wouldn't have expected from anybody else but Tiger Woods.